Welcome, everybody, to another episode of Cafe Underground. Hottest platform for LA's new and emerging hip hop and RB talent. Let's go. Ah! Hands if you feel it. Fuck if you don't, we still living. Hopping out of this coop, I'm still dripping. Nigga, this underground. NG, this cafe and friendly. Pull up in the shit deep if you with me. I'ma do the same thing if you hit me. Nigga, this underground. Gotta put it on broadcast. Big bag fee. What it is, I put it on tease. Fuck the team, speak a nigga knee. Underground. Hey, we, are back. we are back. We are back. We are back. First lady. First lady. First lady in the building. On the podcast. First lady on Ever? the podcast. Like, oh, that's lit. Yo. <laughs> I'm yo. Lit. That's we got lit. Miss Judy Drama in the building. Judy Drama. Bang, bitch. I'm not going to lie to you. So, what? This, this is what we're doing right now. This is what we're doing right now. I'm going to give you some accolades. Okay. You know I had to do my research. You did. Okay. Okay. So, I'm listening and I'm like, wait a minute. Like, this... You know, like right now, you know, you got the you got the ladies right now in the, in the, in the industry, and you know, it's, it's the face, it's the it's the image. We know that we got that. Mm-hmm. But I'm listening. I'm like, she got bars. I got bars. I'm like, wait a minute. And it's not like she like she she's rapping. <laughs> like she she's rapping. Yeah. So, like, how first of all, when, how did you even start? Like, how how long you been in the game? How did you start? What was going on? Um. Seriously, I've been rapping for five years, like taking it seriously. Like serious, 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 serious. Yeah. Like I see you like dialed in right yeah, now. Like you, you, know, you know where like, you at. You, real yeah, you focus right now. Yeah, you dialed in. But okay. really, all my life since I was like eight. Okay. Like I wrote my first rap when I was eight. 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 What's your what's what's like you you like remember a little bit like. <laughs> Now you don't got to do the whole thing. I'm just saying, like, like um, a, a couple words or something. Like, um, talking about eight. So I'm gonna be real with you. Be real, I'm gonna be, be real. So the rap, I heard my auntie and her friends say it. Okay. And I added on to it. Yeah. Oh, all right. I, yeah. That's so, fair. We like, good. You we know, good. I okay. added on to it. But you put your own little. I did. On it. I had my little, little spin little, on it. Okay. But, but I do remember it just a little bit. Okay. Well, just give me a little something. Give okay. me like a bar or two. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was like, um, my name is Lady C. I'm tougher than leather. You can find me in any kind of weather on a rainy day, a stormy night. You better think twice before you roll tonight, cause I'm a money maker, not a booty shaker. I get paid, don't get laid. Hey. Hey. <laughs> that was crazy. We for we we third we lit grade. up in here. <laughs> that's crazy for the third grade. And and that's what I'm saying. Let's let's <laughs> let's let's run it back for a second. Let's slow this down. We talking about eight. Yeah. <laughs> we ate with, with the with the bar game. <laughs> that was actually really wild. <laughs> okay, okay. So we 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 fast forward, and for those who can't see, I do apologize. She has some amazing. The shoe game is is, is crazy. For those who can't see, uh, yeah. okay. For those who can't see, the shoe game is bananas right now. Okay, no, don't 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 worry about that. Don't worry about that. I'm still working on the insurance, so I don't need nothing. You're right, right, right. Popping off wrong <laughs> in the building. Okay, so. You said you've been rapping for 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 about you said about five years, right? About five years consistently. I've been hearing about a couple of things. I want to go slow because I got a lot of ground to cover. Okay. And I'm actually excited. I'm actually I'm actually I'm actually a little excited. Okay. Okay. Y'all didn't tell so, me I was the first girl yo, on this podcast. I'm talking about don't, there was real. a lot of testosterone. Okay. Yeah. It was it was a sausage party. Yeah. Okay. okay. But now we we we're gonna grace yeah. the, the the mic with 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 the female and she's dialed in. Yeah. So tuned in. Judy. Judy, Judy Drama, where do you come up with the name? Um, so I graduated from Clark Atlanta University. Shout out to Clark Atlanta. Brains. And um, okay. while I was at Clark, the movie ATL came out with T.I. and you know what I'm saying? We know ATL. It, yeah. You are <laughs> so, good. All oh, right. So the part where they was like, Judy, party? Her mom going to let her have a party at what, after what happened last year? And it was Big Booty Judy? It was Big Booty Judy. Yeah. Okay. The whole school start calling me that, clearly because I'm shapely, like the girl in the movie. Yeah, so yeah. I was just going by Judy at first. Okay. But one day I was in the shower freestyling, or you know, maybe I was writing a new rap, and I was just like, Judy Drama, and that shit stuck. And I was just like, yeah, that's my new rap name. Because at first I was going by Peaches or Peaches Bad, but I was like, nah, Judy Drama, that's it. So you got dubbed by ATL. 
Because yeah. they seen the connection. They said, okay, we yeah. got we got Big Booty Judy. That was that. And then we also got Big Booty Judy. Yeah. That so we're gonna call you Big Booty Judy. We're gonna, we gonna call you Judy. Yeah. We're gonna call you Judy. Yeah. On, on Clark Atlanta's campus, like as many big booties on that campus, I was the only Judy. Like, that does say a lot. That says a lot. That does say a lot. <laughs> and first of all, I want to give a shout out to education. Yes. Um shout sure. out to Clark. Shout okay. Out to Clark Atlanta, man. Yeah. I mean, so so who else who else was it? She fit, she was, oh my gosh. She in the industry, she going to school as well too. She graduated. Megan. Megan. Bam. What? This is real. This is like in real time. Yeah. I didn't expect to hear it in real time. Okay. So Clark, boom. I don't want to get off, but Clark, shut yeah, out. Clark Atlanta. I graduated. Cool. I ain't just go. I graduated. I got a bachelor's of science in biology. Yes. With the that's a whole that's a, that's whole, a whole other episode. That's a, yeah, that's a whole something else. Okay, yeah. let's go. So so now okay, so Clark, boom, and then now we like, okay, we're gonna do the rap. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna do the rap. So and I am hearing something. Are you so are you are you from LA? I'm originally from Long Beach, but okay. I moved to Dallas when I was seven after my dad passed away and my stepmom oh. passed sick. So I moved with my mom and my okay. stepfather to Dallas. Okay. And I had been out there ever since until it was time for me to go off to college. And that's how I ended up in Atlanta. Man, big blessing. So Beach Baby. Yeah. Beach Baby, now we back. On the west side. I'm not going to lie. Seven's a long time because I ain't going to lie to you. I, 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 I'm originally yeah. from the east coast, but I, I say, you know what? I've been here for so long. I'm like, mm -hmm. it is what it is. I'm, a, I'm like, I'm, I'm from L.A. Yeah. So that's why I just tell everybody, I'm from yeah. Dallas, you know. I, yeah. I, 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 I was taught a lot, learned a lot, got my yeah. swag, you know, yeah. a little accent, you know what I'm saying? Adolescence, adulthood, now I'm just back in L.A. Hey. So, so right now, like, how often are you in the studio? Because I'm hearing a lot of work you doing. Man. Like, a lot of work. What do we, like... You focus right now. What's the what, what's the goal? What's your like? What's your week look like? Um. So my week is a typical week for a mom because I'm a mom okay. first. I have a seven year old son. Shout out to motherhood. Yeah. Okay. So the week is typically tended to him, school, therapies, mm -hmm. all this other kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Um. And then come the weekend, I just like transform. <laughs> I'm talking about like, like Thursday evening or are we talking about like Friday it morning? Just, it just depends what the play is. Because okay. today is what, Monday? Today, today. And I have to transform. So. Surely, okay. Yeah, okay. so it just depends on what the play is. But typically, I I transform a good Thursday night through Sunday. There's like I'm a lot of um, I'm seeing your I'm seeing features. I'm seeing you working with like a lot of collaborations. So yeah. who are some of the collabs you have right now? You've been um, collaborating with? My first collab, my first ever feature was yeah. uh, with Erica Banks. Um, right on we're seeing that hot. Shout yeah. out to Erica Banks. Oh, shout out to E V man. Shout out. Yeah, so that was my first collab. And that how was that? How'd you how'd you even how did that even come together? Uh so going back to Clark Atlanta, uh, I'm a Delta, her brother a Q Dog. Okay. And we was on the same campus together. And I fucked up because the whole time I was on campus, nobody knew I could rap. I was so focused on school. It wasn't mm. until I graduated where niggas was like Hold on, you can rap. You can rap. Right. So her and brother. About this and, right, oh, okay. right. Like nobody knew that. So I started, you know, putting out freestyles and singles. And her brother was like, damn, Judy, like, I need you to do a song with my sister. I want to see you and my sister work. And I'm like, who is your sister? And he was like, Erica Banks. And I'm like, get out of here. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm, right. Thinking, I'm thinking this is play sister. No, they yeah. got the same mama. Yeah, this like, like, yeah. I'm just like, this is your real sheer sister. blood. Yeah. It's like, yeah, it, okay. So, yeah, he orchestrated that. And me and her been locked in ever since. That's what's up. Yeah. Okay. So Erica Banks. Um, who else? Who else you work with? I mean, I worked with a lot of local artists that's, you know, on the same wave as me right now in stardom, you know what I'm saying? I, in stardom. In stardom, where, She know? is very humble, but I, right now, I'm going to tell you right now, this right here, y'all going to run this back, and, like, this one is going to be like, okay, this is how y'all got to where y'all yeah, at. Like, she's going to put us, yeah. like, in the, okay. You're right. So, here we go. All right. I'm hearing something about Two Chains though. Where does that name come from? What's going uh, on? Two Chains is my favorite rapper. Okay. We got to okay. start there. You know okay. what I'm okay. saying? Two Chains is my favorite rapper. Shout out Titty Boy. Shout out to Titty Boy. Shout out Titty Boy. Two Chains. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Ty, my nigga, like, okay. I love him. Okay. <laughs> and no, first of all, Two Chains himself, that's a whole nother episode it is a, on the song. Yes. This like, is, is a vibe all I by itself. I love Two Chains. You know what I'm saying? Man. Yeah. But um, I had a. 
it was my first time going into the booth and I actually was freestyling. I hate freestyling, but that night I was just on some cool shit, wanted to freestyle. Mm -hmm. And I had said uh, a couple of bars that was back to back and I kept saying two, two, two. So I was like, fuck it, name the song Two Chains. Name the song. <laughs> Sorry, no, name the song Two Chains. Sprinkle one time with it. Okay. Sprinkle it one time with Two Chains yeah. and we yeah. gonna roll with it, you know? So okay. yeah, that's where two chains. I'm I'm hoping to get a feature from him. Okay. That is, you know what I'm saying. First of all, I see it. That on up. When, when when he turn this up, when he turn this on and see this right here, I think right. he may like. You know what? I'm gonna shout her out. Right. We'll, we'll get a little shot. We're gonna connect. We're gonna DM drop right here real quick. No, I, I actually got a um, I, two chains should remember me. So when y'all do rerun, rerun this, he should know some. I used to work at an eye doctor in Atlanta. Okay. And uh. His mama came through as one of the patients, and like this what made him my favorite rapper. He came to the eye doctor appointment with her, and I was just like to see him be the man and not the rapper, like taking care of his family, being present and some shit like that. That's what made him my favorite rapper. People forget about that sometimes. Mm -hmm. I, I had like so even so right now we in L.A. right, mm -hmm. so I got uh one of the uh, one of the family friends. They're in uh, they're in the ATL right now. Okay, and they say you know what we were uh, we were shopping. And we just saw uh, like ludicrous. He was just yeah, out yeah. and about like shopping like with the common folk, mm -hmm. like no entourage, nothing like that. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know what? That's dope. Because you forget because you see these people on TV, on TV, you know, yeah. and they get so far away, and you're like, wait a minute, like they're they're like regular, regular, regular people. Regular people. They got regular eat. people that got to take care of home, yeah. handle their business, take care of their family. So I was just a, I was just really happy to see the man and not the artist. Cause when I when I seen him in the doctor's office, I was a fan, but I was mm -hmm. like a fan, like a fan. Yeah. Okay. After seeing him a couple of times, you know, take care of his mom, I'm gonna go tune in two chains, and I'm like, man, he is hard. Like two chains when he did um, his first stuff, the uh, um, what was it? Uh, I'm different. Just from there, I was already there because I saw the little uh, with the with the leopard and all that going on mm -hmm. right there. I was like. Mm -hmm. right here. <laughs> he different. <laughs> He's literally different. <laughs> okay. I was like, all right. Yeah. The old lady in the back. Yeah. In the, uh, here in the cattle. Okay. He's literally different. But a uh, but question for you. Yeah. So I, I so we hear uh you know two chains some of the collabos. Who were some of the inspirations? Like who what kind of like wants you to start? You know what I'm saying like in the game. Um, my be my late best friend Oriste. He died in 2018. He definitely got me got my feet wet in this music career. Um, Cause I used to like I said just be writing raps for the hood or at the lunch table. And he was like, No, you got something. You need to take this shit serious. And I'm like, Well, do it for me then. You know what I'm saying? So he booked my first show. I opened up for Waka Flocka, Migos, Nipsey okay. Hussle, R.I.P. to him. And I was all of three months in the game at that point. So. Um, he was my biggest inspiration, of course. So you got exposure, exposure. Like, you, like, okay. Mm -hmm. So you got traction. Mm hmm You should be proud of yourself. Like, okay, I'm very wait a proud minute, of what? <laughs> I'm very what? proud. It come off as real humble, but inside I'm, it Yo. come off as Squidward, but inside I'm Spongebob. Nah, that, <laughs> I mean, it's, you already confident. Like, people sometimes confuse assertive, like, assertiveness with, like, overconfidence. It's yeah. not the same. Assertive is like, hey, I'm comfortable. Like, I'm confident mm -hmm. in my ability. Like, I know who what I, I can am. do and what, who I am. Yeah. 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 That's me for sure. So let's talk about a little bit. Okay. So what are we working on right now? What we got going on right now? Right now, I'm just trying to collab with as many L.A. artists as possible. I just got here three months ago. Okay. And yeah. I just got I just got to Long Beach three months ago when I've um, hosted a few clubs and got on. Y'all seen a little bit of activity. Y'all yeah, was like, I mean, it gets on the let me like, get my debit card. <laughs> man, let me get my card. Okay. Lucky ain't no nothing going on right now. I'm, I'm, I'll stand on this couch right now. <laughs> hold on, wait a minute. Oh, wait, hold, wait, hold on. <laughs> wait, wait. Oh my yeah. god. All right, um, yeah. But, so just collabing with different Collab. artists and um, you know, just networking. My favorite type of artist is a female rapper. So every time I hear like a new girl. Look her up, see if she friendly or not. You know what I'm saying? She got a studio we can go to. We cook up, and that's how I just been working right. Now. Uh, so this, so this is the thing for me though, right? Now, question for you: the LA move. Um, what brought? So what brought you to LA though? Like what? Like you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 before you answer okay. that, this is what I was saying. Mm -hmm. So once upon a time, like 05, right? 05, it was the Exodus. Okay. Like everybody from LA 
left, left right. to like Atlanta. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It was Atlanta, and those who couldn't hit Atlanta, they hit D Town. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They was in the D Town. Mm-hmm. And you know, some of my guys that came. When you back, say D Town, you talking about Detroit? No, 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 no. I'm talking about Dallas. Oh, you know, okay. About, I say, so, no, no, no. The real D Town. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> I just, I'll be having a little clarification on that. But. <laughs> But, I fuck with Detroit. Though. You know what I'm saying? Right. Now, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to D Town. You know what I'm talking about? It's, it's, it's a lot. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of us. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was a lot of a moving out there because one is just the that that side of the hemisphere, it was just it's just start Boom. banging with a right. whole bunch of talent. Mm-hmm. So when I hear it, I respect it. You know what I'm saying? Like you coming back to LA mm-hmm. to say, hey, you know what? I'm still I'm gonna do my thing, but I'm gonna do it in LA. Mm-hmm. So what like what sparked that? Um literally I went on a four month fast from drinking, smoking, sex, uh, any male activity, just really trying to hone in and focus on myself. And I heard God's voice clearly. And he literally told me one day, move to California. Okay. Like it was after my grandma had passed. So it was just like, I have a place to stay. You know what I'm saying? Like everything is situated. So move. And I had no problems in Dallas. I, Get money, you know what I'm saying? Working it's on my live. music. Like, I heard Everything it is live out there. Like, great. yeah. But when you are practicing stillness and you being still and you can hear God's voice clearly, like, you can't argue with that. That's not a battle that I'm not, I'm willing to fight or try to win. I don't want you to do that either. I'm telling you yeah. right now, before the lights start flickering. <laughs> yeah, and, I'm and just and like, okay, I'll move to California. Oof. And I didn't know why, but literally since I moved here, he's been showing me why. Yeah. You know, yeah. so I don't question it at all. Like, every day I just wake up like, okay, if this is the assignment, then fuck it. I'm going to complete it. This is what I'm going to say, and I'm going to keep it real. Mm-hmm. So, when you got talent, it doesn't matter where you're at. Yeah. Okay, you can be in Wisconsin. Yeah. Okay, they'll find you. What, what was that, uh, Jack Harlow? Mm-hmm. Oh, where's that? Where's he from? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Uh, well, probably Wisconsin. <laughs> Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Okay? <laughs> and he just got finished doing White Men Can't Jump. Okay? So, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Okay. Just so everybody knows, it doesn't matter. All right, you come back to LA. Okay, everybody come back. <laughs> no, but <clears throat> Jack Harlow cannot be from Wisconsin. Man, shout out to uh, <laughs> shout out to being sick. Mm. So I will say this though, literally, you know, it, it really doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? Your talent really does speak for itself. Now, so you're working with some artists out here as well too. Now, are you pushing? Um, like you're trying to do. The label thing you're trying to be independent like so what's the move uh that's another thing that i'm trying to be stealing here is direction okay. from because i'm gonna be honest i'm an artist that don't know much about the music business i just know how to make the music if okay. that makes any sense so i'm actually looking for the mentorship and you yeah. know somebody with a good heart genuine want to see me win and you know put me in the right rooms and talk that's to what i'm the talking right about people and you know like that's humble. I ain't totally green, but yeah, I ain't red either. You know what I'm saying? I'll <laughs> like, be very honest with you. I think after this, and I think you've been doing. Um, I've, I've seen as well too. You've been doing a, like a, a, a deep, a, like a, a significant amount of pod, mm-hmm. like podcasts, mm-hmm. interviews, things mm-hmm. like that. Uh, your work ethic. Mm-hmm. Um, before we even stop this thing, we're gonna um drop your tags and where they can find you. Okay. It's it's a completely different playing field, and this is what this is all about. So the underground is about one. You know, artists are already are kind of like have they have traction. Yeah. But it's just that like okay, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Right. Because we see the followers. You know what I'm saying? You got like a ton of followers, mm-hmm. the subs, and everything else. So we see the movement you're already putting in, mm-hmm. and that's half the battle. A lot of individuals right now they want to see someone that actually puts in the self care. Yeah. Like hey, you know what? I care about myself. This is what I'm doing. You're right. Doing it. Yeah. Thank you. I you're appreciate doing it. it. I'm telling you, you about the bubble and flourish. <laughs> I, I can't wait. <laughs> We got Judy Drama in the building. Cafe so, Underground. Give me your uh give me your top your top two projects that you actually that you think back on like you know what? I I'm I'm feeling that one. Yeah. Like, give me your last the last two, um, top two. So let me see it. That's the I I'm claiming it right now on You claiming show. it right now. Okay. Um, that's gonna be the song that made me pop. It's off my uh album So Good and uh, okay. it got a little Pimp C sample on it. And the, you know what I'm saying? Anything with the pimp on there. R.P. the pimp. R.P. the pimp. R.P. the pimp. R.P. the pimp. the pimp, man. R.P. the pimp. I saw that expose. Yeah, with be that possible Beyonce situation, okay? I don't want your name drop on here, but R.P. the pimp. R.P. the pimp. Okay. And then uh, okay. I got another single called Beautician off the same album. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a fighting song. Because I don't be playing.
Beautician. Beautician. <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> Y'all gotta keep that in there. <laughs> Y'all have to. <laughs> but you have to. <laughs> Just like. I am crying. Right we are in the building, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Judy, this is like this is the best part about it, right? Mm -hmm. So when you look up your stuff, right, what you have going on right now, the IG, um, uh, the YouTube, get down, everything else you have going on, right? You need that right now in today's like market, like it's an unspoken, like this is like norm, mm -hmm. but they don't understand your personality. That I don't know yeah. if that comes across or not. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, and especially because you got your game right now, so so dialed in mm -hmm. I mean, for lack of a better term so when you're out let's say for example when you're uh, doing some of the hosting right mm -hmm. when you do some hosting like what does that look like so i know you say you don't have management but you're still getting these gigs like, yeah. so who are you working with what's going on man i just hop in people dm or they hop in mine usually is they hopping in mine like but a lot of people think I'm serious by the music and my worth ethic, yeah. but I'm literally the goofiest person. I don't take shit serious. Like, no. I really just be like cackling inside. But when it comes to these hostings and things, like most of the time it's a promoter, mostly male. They like what they see. They see the motion. Be like, come host the club. And you know, it comes with stipulations. You gotta bring two, three bad bitches with you. Blah, 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 blah. But sometimes, it's, well, especially since I moved out here, I yeah. started going to places by myself. Like, my first night out here, I went to Hollywood to the penthouse by myself. Turned that motherfucker up. Like, I left with 10 friends. <laughs> like, That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I went down by myself, man. This is real. She is not afraid. Yeah, I'm not she afraid. is not afraid. I'm popping out. This natural shit going on right here. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. All right, so, all right, Hollywood, boom. What do you feel like is the, uh, the biggest challenge right now? What would you say? <sighs> the biggest challenge... I ain't going to lie, and a lot of people going to cap, but it's money. I need some of that. There ain't no cap. <laughs> I need some of that. That is no cap, so look, check it out. <laughs> so we were talking, right, like when we, like our first, the very first episode, right? Yeah. It's like this. It's like, okay, you got an artist, right? Like yourself, mm -hmm. dialed in, mm -hmm. right? You dialed in. You know what's going on. Mm -hmm. um, you know how to present yourself. Your The the actual result, the product is, is amazing. Like, it's like yeah. you, like you ready, but it's like, all right. I mean, I hear you on the radio. Yeah. Why is that? You got politics. You sometimes you have the, uh, the for like for the circulation. Something like that's like a cost, and sometimes people just can't do certain things. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? This, and like I said, I, when I say it so just cavalierly, is it's the truth though. It's politics sometimes involved. Yeah. Does that mean like I do not exist? No, it does no. not. Mm -hmm. So here we are, Cafe Underground. Cafe Fact. Underground. Judy Drama. Judy Drama back. She in the building. I'm in the She is in the building. First female guest on campus. Hey, so so what's next? Where do you see yourself in like, let's say like give yourself like the next year? The next year I'm gonna pop. Uh, motherfucking, what they call it, a household name? Yeah. Like I'm already in the houses. It's just gonna be in a whole bunch of houses. In a whole bunch of houses. <laughs> a whole bunch of houses across the states, across the world. I been claimed that, so. Definitely a household name, Thanks. doing my thing, taking care of my kid on tour, having, living this undeserved life that God gave me. You super humble, but sometimes I want somebody to say, you know what, I want 10 million. I do want I 10 do. million. I, I mean, that, that is super humble, but I got to throw a number out there. I want 10 million under, with conditions, as long as it don't change who I am inside. People get 10 million and completely reinvent themselves for something that God didn't even want them to be. If the 10 million keeps me close to him, then fuck it, make it 20. But if it's going if it's going to make me stray away from him, I don't want it. And I'm going to tell you right now, if this thing was connected, I'll, I'll throw this mic down on the floor <laughs> or break a glass like them Jewish people do because that was a mic drop <laughs> right Jewish here. Be. And that's fair. I'll throw this mic across the room right now and snap it. I'm crying. That's big facts. So, so Judy, let's let's do this because your bars is right. Mm -hmm. Your bars is right. Mm -hmm. You ready for the booth? I'm ready for the booth. She ready for the booth. Cafe Underground, Judy Drama, we out. Oh. I didn't do none of that shit. Uh, hold on, that shit was so flowing. Okay, let's let's bring that shit back. <clears throat> Should we wait, 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 wait. I can do it in the booth. Hear me out. Hear me out. No, 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 no. Just do it. He, you know, he, and he's going to edit it. Just do it. Mm-hmm. Just ask her. <laughs> <laughs> Just do it. 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 Just do
Because I got to think about, like, right. <laughs> Niggas like, uh, PBS programming. Whatever, 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 whatever. Like, you got to throw the shit in there right, nigga. This can't be, like, uh, 75. <laughs> no, he, he can move. No, I hear you saying I'm talking about for me, nigga. For me, I can say it right. Yeah, for his mental. You, you know what I'm saying? Right. right. Understand. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. So, Judy, where can the people find you at? <laughs> I'm crying. Cafe on the ground in the building. A, B, Judy. We were talking about a couple things, projects and everything else. I think the people are kind of dialed in. I know we definitely want to see more. So where can we find you at? You can find me on YouTube, Judy Drama, Twitter, Judy Drama, uh, GCE Music. Mm -hmm. And on Instagram, Judy Drama Official. Just type in Judy Drama with everything. I'm popping up. Now, now on the IG, because I had to look it up earlier. I'm telling you right now. You niggas really want to dial into that. You want to dial into that. Judy Drama She said official. it very cavalierly. You want to dial into that. Could you throw, just throw that IG out there one more time? Just so these... At Judy Drama Official. J-U-D-Y-D-R-A-M-A Official. You will not regret it. All right. <laughs> we out. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. If a nigga try to spin the block, I'ma treat his ass just like a op. Nigga thought the grass was greener on the other side, bitch, I know it's not. I know I'm a lot to deal with, but that don't mean you gotta cheat. But since you did, it's fuck you, and now I'm fuck nigga free. Okay, okay, okay. Do something to make me feel good. Take me out the razzles, roll me up a backwood. Yeah, I like simple shit, but I can't stand no simple nigga. Way that boy was popping shit, I thought his dick would be bigger. Niggas always got something to say when a bitch is bad. Why you always in the club? Why you always? Showing ass, how come you don't pay my bills? Do you help me with my kid? Niggas got a lot to say when they don't contribute to shit. I look like a hoe. Nah, you too quick to pass judgment. I seen all your mama kids and all them motherfuckers ugly. Outside with my ratchet friends, but they married though, so I'm a humble hoe. Say you are the company you keep, so I'll get married, bro. But until the end, in the streets, I'm locked in. If I choose the wrong partner, I'm going back for the other friend. Tell me who is harder than Judy Drama. Ain't no arguing a rookie, but I started it. If he kicked up no Ottoman. If I hope play crazy, then I guess I go retarded then Okay, okay, okay I can't afford St. Laurent, so I do my thing in St. Louis Ask the North City nigga, I bet he fuck around and do it That boy got him my appetite, I love the way that nigga chew me Hey, It's Judy Drama, Judy Bang, same motherfucking thing It's fantastic in the motherfucking cafe underground booth Y'all know what the fuck going on Okay, okay
Welcome everyone. We are tuned in for another episode of Cafe Underground, LA's new hottest platform for emerging hip hop and R&B artists. Let's go. Ah! So we are back. We are back. We are back, everyone. Welcome. Oh, another episode. A B in the building. One of the hottest artists out right now. We got who is? Untitled in the building. Let's go. Let's go. Hey man, look. When I was uh, I wanna say maybe it was it was I wanna say maybe like a week or two ago, and one of my boys was like, hey man, uh, this dude right here, man, you gotta really, you gotta check this man out. And I was like, I was like, I was like, I my man shot me the link. And I was like, who the fuck is this? I'm like, who the fuck is this? Yo, so like tell people a little bit, man, like where, like, how'd you get into music, brother? Like, where did this all start? So me, bro, honestly, like growing up, it was something I was always just originally into. I always kind of had just a passion for it, just beginning, starting off as a listener, and then okay. that kind of evolved, like piquing my curiosity, listening to different artists, and you know, kind of just having a feeling like, all right, this feel like something I can kind of do a little bit. So I started off just writing poetry, and that was my beginning, just practicing rhyming patterns. Uh, Hold on, whoa, 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 whoa. You you doing poetry? That you, was you, start, you started in poetry. That's how I started off. Like originally just rhyming patterns, trying okay. to learn how to story tell, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Just working on my pen and then, you know, that kinda of evolved into me wanting to freestyle, that playing with flows, different pockets and stuff like that. And then that curiosity kept getting peaked and leading more and more into different stuff and I eventually just wanted to start making my own music, forming my own choruses and stuff like that and I've been doing it ever since then, bro. Hey man, you were saying you said a couple, you said you, you, a couple bars, man. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, we gonna run it back a little bit, man. So you said this word freestyle. Yeah, absolutely. It, it's it's not too many artists doing that Thanks. nowadays. Thanks. Once upon a time, bro, that was a that was a part of the culture. That was the art. No offense, you know what I'm saying, for those who's getting their stuff. You know what I'm saying, like. You know, just written down for them. They, they mm -hmm. do their thing. I do their thing. But that's like some real... I respect that, man. Like, for real, for real. Nah, yeah, bro. And just even back then when I was watching it, that's what was so interesting about it to me, bro. Mm -hmm. Just, you know, people being able to freestyle and be so creative and it's coming off of the dome. I'm seeing that. That's like a skill set in its own. So, yeah. seeing that and, you know, enjoying that as much as I did, I wanted to make sure I had that somewhere in my tool kit and my tool belt when I started making music. Hey, so 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 we talking about freestyle. This this to me is like different genres, just different types of rappers, right? Absolutely. So, like from like a, cause your style right now, your style is a little bit different. I want to get into that, sure. but like let's talk about like a little bit of the inspiration. Let's say from like that, that freestyle standpoint, like what are some of like your you know those one or two that really kind of set the stage for you? For me, it was early off like people like Lupe Fiasco. Um, okay. He was somebody who I always listened to for his lyrical ability. Shout out to Lupe, man. He don't get enough flowers, man. No, I'm Shout not, out to Lupe. I'm not a, a legend for sure. Mm -hmm. um, Kanye, another person who I was looking at and listening yeah, he, to. Uh, right. Him just for how he constructed songs in its entirety. He was able to put that bars, those lyrics in there, and then still give you a little bit of that melodic and production that he was doing. So those two alone was two kind of who I really paid attention to in the beginning. But, you know, it goes into more... Tupac, Big, Ice Cube, uh, Snoop, you know, all those inspirations too was somebody who I listened to and kind of just took different things from them that I noticed that, you know, they was experts at and trying yeah. to add that to my own. Okay. Okay, now that's what's up, man. I mean, for yourself, I'm going I'm, to I'm I'm touch my spot. As soon as we say yay, I'm not going to lie, I was thinking like, uh, like Big Sean. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like Big Sean, isn't it freestyle? It's like bananas. Yes. Like, what that's crazy. crazy. He was like on some leaking shit like yes. uh, like a while ago. Yeah. His shit was like dumb bananas. So he was like going on for like minutes. And it get to the point where, you know, some people do like the, the pre-record, which is which is dope. But I think he was like on the spot with it, like on some like oh, some, yeah. some killer bar yeah. type shit. And that's why his pen is in the, the way it is, bro. It's, mm -hmm. it's the same even in the lyrics when he in the booth, but he still keep that, that freestyle ability is. Yo, facts. But let's kind of let's, let's let's take a step, let's take a step back. Let's take a step back. Okay, so the name. Now how do you how do you spell it? How do you spell your name, man? It's U N apostrophe T L D. Facts. Yeah. I'm trying to look. I'm like, yo, like I'm not like, getting like, yeah. ooh, so I'm seeing. It. <laughs> hey, man, that's dope, man. That's some hip hop shit right there. Yeah, I just try to, you know, make it a little different. Some, you know, custom yeah. me, customized in my personality. So I felt like that was like. 
the best way fitting for me and my style and shit like that. That's what's up, bro. That's what's up, man. Um, so where we where we coming from? Where you at? Where you at? Uh, I'm from California, man. Right, raised and born in LA my whole life. But... All right, shout out to the hub. Yeah, yeah, always. Okay. Oh, uh, in the hub, you got some artists out there, man. That you like looking at something somebody you want to work with? At the moment, it's a lot of like up and coming aspiring artists who I see coming out of the city, like mm. uh, you know, people like Wine Giant, Homie P One, uh, Money Smooth, people like those, or just people out of the city who even close homies of mine, but still good artists and people who I know eventually in the future I want to work with and stuff like that. And uh, um, I was listening to like one of your songs, man. And this is not a this is not a this is not a diss. This is actually like a like a, a plus. This is like a plus plus. When I was feeling it, I was like, yo, I was like, I'm listening to it, right? I'm listening to one of your tracks, man. I think it was uh uh what was it? It's, it's called No Way? Yeah. Yeah, No Way, right? I was like, at first I was like, okay, it's it's just different. Yeah. It's not like the, the like the typical you know, like LA Facts. type thing thing. Facts. And then I was listening to another track, right? And then it gave me like a little bit of like a, a Don Kennedy kind of vibe a little bit. Mm -hmm. Like super wet. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like what's what like what what do you think about inspiration wise when it comes to like writing down like a script right when you come up with a song? What does that look like? For me, inspiration is is I kind of go off of the beat when I find that I try to feel out, you know, an emotion, a memory, uh, you know, making it make me feel something, and then I kind of just lead with that. Once I get that direction, I, yeah. you know, lead in the freestyle and playing around with it, finding whatever flow in. Once I kind of got that direction, bro, I just kind of flush it out the best way I can, try not to stay sticking to like one style or something that I already did, just kind of yeah. keeping it fun and interesting and just keeping my mind open to different possibilities and sounds and stuff like that when I'm doing it. So I don't really kind of keep myself in one box type of thing. I love the versatility. Hey man, I like that too, man. Especially coming from the land, brother. Sometimes you're like, you get in this like, I, I love for LA for everything it has to offer, right? right? All these different genres because it's very colorful, right. but it's, it's definitely a breath of fresh air when I hear just like the artist with just bars. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just bars. You know what I'm saying? It's not like the, you know what I'm saying, like the politics policies that you normally make kind of hear, right. right? So that in itself was almost like refreshing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like like it's it's definitely refreshing. But at the same time, my man got spit. My man got spit. So what you working on right now? What we working on right now? What's in the what's in the kitchen? What we cooking up? Right now, uh, I got an EP project coming out. Excuse me, that's supposed to be coming out on November 3rd, uh, mm -hmm. so that's like what I've been cooking up most recently. Got three tracks on there, three tracks that I kind of been cooking up. Again, something kind of showing people, you know, that bar aspect, those lyric aspects of what yeah. I can do and stuff like that, but just not keeping it to one thing, kind of bouncing around a little bit, but, you know, still keeping that theme and that vibe into it. So that's what I got going right now and more, more shit to come for sure, like more singles and all that, like really on the gas with it. Hey bro, man, I'm gonna tell you this right now, loved one. You are, you are definitely like you were humble. You know what I'm saying? Like I didn't even really expect. Like it was, you know, because it's laid back. The whole, the vibe is laid back. Like especially when you listen to like, you know, like something like it's, it's up, but it's like you can like you can chill, listen to it, like doing different things. I don't really gotta hide certain family members. Like hey, yo, I gotta turn this down a little bit. Like, like, <laughs> man, oh. you know what I'm saying? So like that's dope. Um, what do you see yourself, man? Like, let's say, for example, like a year from now, like what you want out the game right now? Honestly, bro, I just, you know, I want to keep creating. Like, I just want to grow the name. I want to push the sound, you know what I'm saying? Bring, you know, something different out of L.A. that, mm -hmm. you know, people can enjoy and people can love. And, you know, understand that L.A. is known for a certain sound, but, you know, we got a whole lot of other shit, you know what I'm saying? And a whole lot of fire. So that's, that's my main thing, bro, just pushing the sound and, you know, adding more to music. Gotcha, bro. That's facts, man. So, so where we at, man? Who's uh? So your your beats right now. So where do you uh? Where do you get the uh? Where do you get the tracks from? Right now, I'm a little bit all over the place. I work with different producers and stuff. <laughs> That's like what's that. up. Yeah, so, I like the yeah, truth. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just yeah, like that. This is what I get. Yeah, I, 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 I got a feeling. Yeah, we don't get funny over here, but yeah, it's, a little, <laughs> yeah. it's a little all over the place. So I go for you know wherever I can find good music, good instrumentals, good beats and stuff like that. But. You know, I'm just, I'm all over the place with it right now, bro. No specific mm -hmm. spot, just whoever got something hot, you know what I'm saying? Something fire, if I listen to it and I like it, I'm going to tap in with you, you know, get connected, and then we just go from there. 
Yo, one thing I will say, man, it's like one of the biggest things I feel like artists are like really like into right now, and it's like it kind of sets them apart from everybody else is that sound, right? So for yourself, I know one, you do have a sound, right? But do you feel like okay, if and I'm not in that part, but one, you sign to label right now? Or no, no okay. Do you feel like when you talk like when, you, when we talk about like label signing, right? Do you feel like sometimes the label may kind of change you to like something you may not want to be? Have you seen that with some of your favorite artists? Or what do you think about that? I think that, you know, that's definitely a possibility. And, a, and I see that in, you know, a lot of stuff in the industry, you know, uh, labels trying to just push a different vision for the artist than what they originally start as, you know, yeah. something a little bit more commercial friendly or, you know, friendly across, you know, a wide mass of people or something like that, I would say. Mm -hmm. But... For me, that's not really something I'm necessarily into. So I, I, I really focus on keeping the originality and yeah. what you're comfortable in. I feel like if you push that as far as you can, that's going to take you to the same spots that you know those label spots can get you. Because right now, people love originality. They love the real. They love it's a fact. Love. It's facts. If it's not, if it's not real, usually when it like when you see it, it is something that hit different. Facts. And you like they can tell it like in the in the pudding. Right. That's not what it is. That's right. not what it is. People are super perceptive to it right now, bro. So mm -hmm. just keep it solid, bro. Keep it whatever you love. You love to do what you comfortable with, man. It's, that's that's what it is. Hey, right, bro. So so question for you. So do you right now do you see yourself more like okay, you know, when you gonna push the independent thing instead of like you know what I'm saying trying to go to like the business? The the whole atmosphere has changed. Oh, for sure. The atmosphere has changed. Like people get paid right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? People get paid right now. So. Do you do you feel comfortable? Or would you still look for like more like a mentorship or management, like from that perspective? Uh, I'm definitely open to you know management, but signing to a label wise, I want to push the independent thing as far as I can because I feel like like you said, people getting money, bro. It's a lot of people out here who work and doing independent and you know doing very well for themselves musically, financially, and all that. So I want to try to make sure I'm pushing that and giving myself that you know same chance and taking it as far as I can independently before I kind of start looking at you know, label deals and outside help like that. Yeah, so, yeah. So, so, so this is what I would say, man. This is what I would say, to be honest with you, brother. You have, you definitely have a gift. You know what I'm saying? You got something to work with, but you got something to work with. For myself, man, I see you one, like, really, not, I would say putting the West on the map, but really putting it, showing a different side of it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? The only thing is, I think right now it's like, there's a place, you know what I'm saying, for love. It's just figuring out like when it comes to like a distro piece or something like that, or like an algorithm from that standpoint, right? Because there's like a ton of rappers that's like hot right now. This is like some scary shit. It's almost like taboo to talk about. A ton of rappers that's hot, but what sets them apart from the ones that, uh, because you don't want to sell your soul, right? You know what I'm saying? You don't want to go out like, you know what I'm saying? like. For real, like like a clown, but it's like, you know what? I, I love my craft. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So what do you feel like is that gonna be the X factor for yourself? For me, I feel like the X factor is probably just gonna be that the versatility and the consistency and just like the quality for me, like facts. And you know, the lyricism and you know what I'm saying, the beat selection and just how I feel like I'm crafting the music, keeping that versatility alive, like I was saying, I feel like that's just what's gonna set me apart because you know, in the industry, the music is always and forever changing. So it's about being able to adapt and, you know, fit in those moments. And I feel like that is going to, you know, aid me and help me and just staying relevant and staying around and keeping a good sound going. Hey, man, I'm excited to hear this shit, man. Like, for real, bro. Like, I'm excited for that, for what's going on. Tell us about what, some something you got out right now. Um, Any kind of single you got out right now? Uh, right now, I got a single still, No Way, which is... My favorite single out right now, uh, still doing fantastic in my opinion. I think that's my favorite and best song out right now. And then the EP coming in about a week. So got Tricky on there, a couple other joints on there. I'm really excited for people to hear. So mm -hmm. you know, I think it's going to be a real good, uh, the people going to like it. It's going to be a real good response. I feel like. Careful. Man, honestly, bro, that no way go, 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 go big right now. Sure. So look, can we, can we play this shit? Oh, for sure. Absolutely. Bro, facts. Okay. Let's play this shit right here. Let's do that. Facts, folks. Huh. Yeah, these niggas think I'm playing with them. Huh. Had to tell a nigga no way. Uh, said he playing with the rap, had to tell a nigga no way. No way. No way. No way. 
Uh, now I'm playing with a shirt, baby girl, like Bolay. Hey, get a look in the city when I'm sipping on the Dulce. Uh, said he playing with the rap out of Tell him I ain't playing with him. I hear niggas hating, but they wouldn't say it to him. Too quiet in the back, yeah, we busy in the front row. Cause all my niggas really working. Yeah, we get it, yeah, we did it, yeah, we did it, yeah, we made it off the nine nine. Yeah, they looking at me. Hey, get a look in the city when I'm sipping on the Dulce. Uh, so you playing with the rap band till I ain't getting no way. You think we got so much time? It's almost five. Mm -hmm. No, we just want to stop that shit. The scar is messed up. I'm going to stop. I can't press yes on the screen. Let's stop recording. Go ahead. Because it's crack. Because the arrow crack. You can't stop it. There's a button that's right there. Wait. Right underneath the screen. He was pushing it. He was pushing it. We'll figure it out. Bring it down. Hey, bro, that shit was fire, bro. Appreciate it, big dog. Hey, man, big fast, bro. So now y'all know why we up here got this man sitting down in the chair with the microphone in his face. Y'all up here looking like. Bro, big facts, man. Hub City business, man. LA, look, bro. Yourself, man. Like who? Like right now, coming up. Do you think anybody can really? I'm just gonna say this the right way. Do you think anybody right now is really on your level? Like right now, like when it comes to like what you got going on and your talent. You know what I'm saying? Nah, bro. It's. it's I'm in my own lane type of thing, bro. It's no traffic when you're in your own ass. No traffic when you're in your own lane, bro. So, nah, bro. I'm, I'm straight around that. Hey, man, that was the best way to say it because I probably would have said some shit that got me kicked off the air. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Facts. Hey, man, what did my man say? He said, I'm in my own lane. And and that's one of the major things, man. When you want to be original, doing this right here, man, in the longevity piece, it's about one, it's that originality, bro. Um, I'm going to give you your flowers right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, big facts, bro. So, let's do this. For the people who want to know and want to listen to your content, like, give them some of your tags. Man, where can they find you at? Get your IG, you on SoundCloud. Let the people know what's going on. Bro, it's everywhere, man. On Instagram, it's UN underscore TLD underscore. Uh, Twitter, same thing. Across all the social media spaces, you can find me there. Yeah. Uh, you go on to any platform, listening platform, Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon. Pandora, you know what I'm saying? Type in UN apostrophe TLD. My name will come up. You're going to see the songs and music there. And, you know what I'm saying? Be a fan. Let it speak for itself. You know what I mean? Bar game. So uh, they said your bars was right. Somebody said your bars was right. You ready for your bar game? Come on, let's do it. Facts. Episode Underground. We in the booth. Bro, be blessed.